The Dalek casing could be separated into three sections. The top was the Dalek's means of vision and communication, a dome with a set of twin speaker lights, referred to as luminosity discharges, pros, prisoner of the Daleks, on the upper part of the sides, and a periscope-like eye stalk in the middle. This was attached to the midsection by a neck, the grating section. Pros. Prisoner of the Daleks. The Dalek casings invented by Davros were originally called Mark III travel machines. TV. Genesis of the Daleks. Pros. Still need a title. Dalek casings varied in color and exact appearance. TV. The Magician's Apprentice Al with different colors often signifying different ranks within Dalek hierarchy. Pros. War of the Daleks, over the Daleks' history, the basic Dalek was first slatless and silver-white when using Dalek war machines, TV, the Daleks, comic, Genesis of Evil, then given sensor plate slats to become the silver Daleks, TV, the Daleks' master plan, later replaced by gray Daleks, TV, Destiny of the Daleks, and finally bronze Daleks. TV, Dalek. On the Daleks' midsection, the weapons platform, pros, prisoner of the Daleks, the gunstick and manipulator arm were attached. These provided the Daleks' means of offense and operating capabilities. In later models, the midsection was capable of swiveling. Most of the mass of the Dalek mutant was located inside the midsection. The bottom, the base unit, pros, prisoner of the Daleks, was the Daleks' means of mobility consisting of a sturdy base with a skirt-like structure of plates studded with sense globes. This allowed movement and, in later models, flight. The interdependence of biological and mechanical components made the Daleks a type of cyborg. The Imperial Daleks created by Davros during the Imperial Renegade Dalek Civil War were true cyborgs, surgically connected to their shells. TV. Remembrance of the Daleks. Externally, the Daleks resembled human-sized pepper shakers with a single mechanical eye stalk in a rotating dome, a gun stick and a manipulator arm. The casings were made of both polycarbide and dale canium. WC. Monster file. Daleks. The lower portion of the casing was studded with 56 partially embedded spherical protrusions. TV. Dalek. Or sense globes. Comic. City of the Daleks. Which could serve as a self-destruct system. TV. Dalek. The casing was booby-trapped. When a non-time traveler touched the Dalek in Utah, they combusted into flames. However, when Rose Tyler touched the Dalek, it regenerated it. TV. Dalek. Even dead Daleks could prove a dangerous foe. They were frequently equipped with virus transmitters on the casing, which worked automatically. Pros. I am a Dalek. The Dalek's eyepiece was its most vulnerable spot, as there was no backup system if this was obscured, damaged or destroyed and impairing its vision often led to the Dalek panicking and firing its main weapon indiscriminately in a panic. Game. City of the Daleks. It was, however, a sensitive instrument, which allowed the Daleks to see in infrared, among other wavelengths. Pros. Legacy of the Daleks. The Dalek casing also functioned as a fully sealed environment suit, allowing travel through the vacuum of space or underwater without the need for additional life support equipment. TV. The Dalek Invasion of Earth, The Parting of the Ways, Comic, The Dalek Project, a Dalek's eyepiece could be connected to other Dalek vision centers. Game. City of the Daleks, TV, Asylum of the Daleks, a Dalek was connected to its casing through a positronic link. The mutant itself accessed nutrient feeders and control mechanisms inside its internal chamber. Audio. The Time of the Daleks, the Twelfth Doctor once said that a Dalek was, not a machine but, a perfect analogue of a living being. TV. Into the Dalek. Indeed, a Dalek could be, hurt, even when the non-biological part of it was attacked. TV. Dalek. Into the Dalek. Due to their gliding motion, earlier models of Dalek were baffled by stairs, which made them easy to overcome under the right circumstances. One time the fourth doctor and his companions escaped from Dalek pursuers by climbing into a ceiling duct. The Doctor even taunted a single Dalek before disappearing. TV. Destiny of the Daleks. Some models were able to hover, or fly under their own power like small spacecraft and travel up the stairs, ending the original weakness. TV. Revelation of the Daleks. Dalek. Resolution. Al. The original defense drone, derived from a reconnaissance Dalek, was capable of simple spatial shifts. TV. Revolution of the Daleks. 
The armor of the Cult of Scaro had temporal shift capacity, seemingly the only users of such technology during the Battle of Canary Wharf. TV. Doomsday. Daleks in Manhattan.